Hi, I'm Jim W6LG, your ham radio Elmer. Welcome to my radio room in Rockland, California. How efficient is an antenna tuner? And how efficient is the one that I constructed from stuff on the shelf? What, what happens when you put RF through it? How much do you lose? What comes out the far end? I'll investigate that right after this. So I finished the antenna tuner and had it hooked up and then decided I really needed a way to bypass. Also, I had kind of long leads on the inside. So took some of it apart, put it back together, put in a relay, double pull, double throw, 12 volt relay that I had. Uh, it had been the cha changeover relay on a really big amplifier. And the co contacts are, are quite large, almost a quarter of an inch. So I put that in and in the uh, non-energized or relaxed position, the uh, two SO239s, which are I moved, which are now right up against the relay, there's just a short distance, so it it basically puts a wire between those two uh, SO239s to bypass the whole thing. Energize, then uh, it goes to the two capacitors and the uh, the roller inductor in a T configuration. So the question is, how do you tune the thing? Um, what kind of efficiency can I expect? What is the range of things that it can match? So um, before I put any power to it, and I will, I've got some light bulbs I'm going to light up with RF just to see how things look. Also put in line some bird watt meters. Uh, one will have a 50 watt slug on the reflected side. The other have a 250 watt slug on the forward side. Um, so tuning the thing. At first, uh, the first step is I'm going to use uh, an antenna analyzer and go through each of the bands and find out where the roller inductor needs to be for a low SWR. I'm gonna write those down and then I'll use those as a guide to tuning it when I actually transmit into it. Now, it I don't know what position the coil has to be in. I just know it can be really touchy for the minimum SWR. So I've gotta be careful when I do that. Um, when I transmit, I'll be into uh, those two light bulbs and a dummy load, which present pretty close to a 50 ohm load. The the um, light bulbs are actually in a dipole configuration. I wire rewired a uh, um, a device that holds two light bulbs, and I went and took it all apart and rewired, it, put it back into a, uh, uh, a a socket, and that will be one indication of how the thing is working. And then ultimately what I'm going to do is, this is where I'm going to measure the efficiency. Uh, this guy can re uh, measure return loss. So I'm going to measure return loss um, into a um, precision 50 ohm resistor uh, like this one. And then um, I built a little uh, short. So I will put this right on the output of the antenna tuner. Um, tune for minimum SWR and return loss, see what the return loss is. Is it 20 dB, 30 dB, 40 dB, 50 dB? I don't know. Then I'll put then this, I'll put one, this on, one on, which presents, which presents just, a, just dead a dead short. short. And then again, and then again read, the return, read the return loss. loss. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping it, it, it is fairly, a fairly small, small number. number. Half, that, half number that number will be the, will loss, be the loss through, through the tuner. Why is it half? Because I'm going to this and coming back. So the pass is path is through the tuner and back out into this guy to measure the return loss. So I'll take half that number. Um, so here we go. Let's do some quick testing. I'll narrate over the video that I'm going to shoot and we'll see what happens. Um, I think the main test is going to be some band like 40 um, and see what the losses look like there. All right, here we go. Uh, the big honking, the big thing. Uh, antenna tuner and see if it works. I don't know. Okay, here I'm using the um, LP100 um, SWR meter, watt meter, does a lot of different things. And I'm struggling to get the SWR down to 1.0, which is what I'm trying to do. 
and finding the roller inductor just a bit touchy and also uh, one of the air variables. Um, I guess the shaft is a tad loose, so I've got to go in and tighten that up. But I'm at this point, I've got about 25 watts into it, and there's a there's a one to one SWR. And again, uh, I've upped the power now to 300 watts, and I got uh, a one to one SWR. Adjusting the slugs on the bird watt meters, the uh, light bulb lights up, so I know it's putting out power. Uh, power is going through the tuner, I should say, and it's coming out. And the watt meters are showing almost zero reflected power, um, and about 250 watts uh, forward. So, just a couple of watts in reverse, and. Uh, 250 watts forward which is plenty good and the light bulbs are lighting up nice and bright so I know that part of it um, that part of it's working my uh, light bulb dipole all right now I'm going to switch to the um, zoom AA35 and this is where the and by the way the blower noise is what you're hearing from the dummy load um, uh, at 40 meters, I got a 1 to 1 SWR, minus 47, 48 dB, which is 99.9% .9 efficient. So that's just about as good as it gets. And now the controversy begins, and that is um, what, um, what kind of efficiency am I getting through the uh, antenna tuner? And again, I'm putting signal into it uh, the device is it's going to a short at the output of the tuner or if it's turning around and coming back so the return loss is um, is both directions and this this is the result that i got uh, with an swr 39 to 1 uh, the return loss was 0.45 which means 0.23 roughly dB and that puts the antenna tuner at 95% efficiency um, and I don't think it gets much better than that probably would have uh, less efficiency on 80 meters and better efficiency on on 10 meters I think the roller inductor position probably pays or plays a role in that so that's going to be the controversial result. I came up with 95% efficiency on 40 meters. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, it's been fun to make the antenna tuner and get it working. Um, it still has some flaws. For example, it won't tune down to uh, or up to 10 meters. Um, it starts to peter out at about 27 megahertz and just won't go any further. But I'll get that figured out. If you have not subscribed, please uh, check the box and do that and uh, the notification thingy. If you have any questions, post them below. If you have an idea that 95% efficiency makes no sense or the way I did it is wrong, post that too. Um, it's the idea that I came up with, which was a way to demonstrate it on YouTube. I'm Jim, W6LG. Thanks for watching 73.